Once upon a time, in a sprawling and vibrant forest nestled between towering mountains and lush valleys, lived a thirsty crow named Corvin. The forest was a haven for countless creatures, each adapted to its unique way of life, and Corvin, with his dark glossy feathers and sharp beak, was no exception. One scorching summer morning, as the sun blazed in the sky and the leaves of the trees drooped under its unrelenting heat, Corvin found himself desperately parched. The water sources in the forest had dried up, and his throat felt like a desert. With each attempt to call out, his voice cracked, and his wings felt heavy from exhaustion. He needed water, and he needed it fast. As he hopped along the forest floor, his keen eyes spotted a glimmer in the distance. A small clearing lay ahead, and at its center was a pitcher, half filled with water. Corvin's heart leaped with hope. However, as he flew towards it, his hopes were dashed. The water level was too low for him to reach with his beak, and no matter how hard he tilted the pitcher, the water remained frustratingly out of his reach. Corvin's desperation turned into determination. He couldn't give up now. He looked around, his eyes scanning the clearing for anything that might help. And there, scattered around the clearing, were small pebbles. An idea blossomed in Corvin's mind an idea that might just save him from his thirst. With renewed vigor, Corvin picked up one of the pebbles in his beak and dropped it into the pitcher. He watched as the water level rose, but it still wasn't high enough for him to drink. Undeterred, Corvin dropped pebble after pebble into the pitcher, each one causing the water to rise little by little. Time seemed to stretch as Corvin continued his laborious task, his determination unwavering. Beads of sweat formed on his feathers, and his wings ached, but he persisted. The sun moved across the sky, casting shifting patterns of light and shadow on the forest floor, as Corvin's pile of pebbles slowly but steadily grew smaller. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Corvin's heart soared as he saw the water level rise to a point where he could finally dip his beak and take a drink. The cool Refreshing water flowed over his parched throat, relieving his thirst and revitalizing his weary body. He had done it. Corvin's cleverness and persistence had saved the day. As Corvin quenched his thirst, a soft breeze rustled the leaves around him, and the forest seemed to sigh in relief with him. The tale of the thirsty crow's determination spread throughout the forest, inspiring other creatures to never give up in the face of challenges. And so, Corvin became a legend in the forest, a symbol of how even the seemingly impossible can be achieved with creativity, perseverance, and an unyielding spirit. Thus, the story of the thirsty crow echoed through the trees and among the creatures of the forest, a timeless reminder that even in the most trying times, a glimmer of hope and a spark of ingenuity can lead to triumph in the end.